Jesus is our King, our Savior, our Healer, and our, our Father. I'm learning how to dream dreams and see visions. I love Jesus because He brought me into the world. He's my Heavenly Daddy and His love will never change for me. God is awesome. We started out teaching about the baptism in the Holy Spirit because I just thought, well, if you want to move in the gifts, I mean, you need the baptism in the Holy Spirit. That's the first step. That's probably now 90 percent, you know, um, of the kids now are confidently, they confidently pray in their prayer language. <laughs> Let's go higher. Let's shift this atmosphere. We went from teaching about the baptism in the Holy Spirit to teaching about healing. They began to pray for their parents at home as their parents were sick. They would say, well, can I pray for you? I said, can I pray for your head? She said, sure. And then I prayed for it one time and... She said it was about seven. Well, before she said it was about seven, I she I said it's gonna be a scale of one to ten. She said oh, it's one bed or two bed. I said ten, and then I prayed for it one time, and then she said it's about seven. Then I prayed again, and she said it's ten. It's completely better. This picture of this foot just flashed at me. And I went to school, and I went to Miss Rogers, and I asked, "Can I go? Can I pray for this girl outside the um, class?" And she said yes. And so I prayed for the girl, and I asked her to go back up and walk back to me. And she walked back up, and then she walked back to me. And she said she was like so wild; her face was like really, like wow. And she just she said it's a hundred percent better, and she was like feeling great. Next day she came back school without a cast, without a wheelchair or anything. We really have some amazing kids in our in our program. They're hearing from God themselves. They a lot of them are experiencing things that maybe even their parents aren't experiencing yet. After the kids were baptized in the Holy Spirit and we began um, talking about praying for people for healing, is in the church service. They began to just, when an adult would go to the altar, they started just, I mean, no one ever said, told our kids, you, need, you can go pray for them. They just started doing it. They became so confident in it that they would just go <laughs> down there and start gathering around them and praying in the Spirit. I believe that the gifts are very important to this new generation. Um, our kids are looking for the supernatural, and that intrigues them. When they begin to experience for themselves the power of God, and they have experienced God healing through them, when they get to college or out of the home and mama's not there to make them go to church, and they have professors telling them that there is no God, you know, they'll, they'll say, what do you mean there's no God? And I've seen him heal. You know, he talks to me. He, he's spoken to some others through me. I mean, they've, they've encountered him. They've had more than information about God. They've seen the power. Here I am.